Okay, today we're going to take a look at the KPI table in MAP software and how we can use those key performance indicators uh, to suit our needs for whatever we're measuring. And so just to start off here, you'll notice that I'm in the basic profiling environment uh, with the MAP software and we're on our profile tab so we can see what we've measured here and this is our KPI table just below the profile showing channels 1 through 6 on my profiler and um, the different measures that we've taken and so the uh, basic data table uh, template that we're using you can see the path for it uh, below the information there on the table and this is the directory that it's saved in and so this basic template just has um, things that you would normally look for in, in a regular reef flow profile. And so we've got our maximum positive slope, time between temperature, um, maximum peak temperature, etc. But there's some pretty useful things that we can do with this. And uh, just for example, I'll show you today how to um, edit some of the columns in the table and we'll also go over um, saving and naming your own uh, KPI data table and so that you can add additional measures to it uh, for your own purpose whatever whatever you need for the product that you're measuring and also how to make that the default uh, table that is used for future downloads um, as you continue on with the map software and, and reflow profiling. And so uh, let's start with the editing. And again, like I mentioned before, this is just the basic table that comes with the software. And let's say, for example, um, that you need a time between temperature of 155 to 183 degrees C. Um, and right now we can see that that's set for measuring the time between temperatures in this column of 150 to 183 degrees C. And so if we want to edit that, uh, we can just right click on the column at the, at the top of the column and select Edit Content. And this brings up our menu of things that we can, um, measures that we can change. And so, uh, keep in mind this column has already been created and it's set for a time value and so if we hit next uh, we can see that the lower value is set for 150 and we'll change that to the 155 that we needed and then we can simply hit finish and that will automatically update the information in the column and so we can see it on the header there that the time between is now 155 to 183 and I'm going to change our maximum positive slope as well uh, just to measure the 0 to 155 that we were looking for and so if I right click at the top of uh, that first column you can see that this is set for a, a slope measurement already since the columns already been created and we can hit next and let's see here, if we hit next again, the end value that we're looking for in this case is going to be 155. And we can hit finish to change that first column of the default table. Now, um, let's uh, take a look at adding. If you want to add additional measures to your table, um, if for whatever reason these, uh, these default or basic uh, measures uh, don't cover everything that you need. Uh, let's say that we want to add a measure uh, for time between uh, 175 to the 183 peak as well, just to uh, measure the specific time at the upper end before it reaches the peak. Uh, we can go to the Add Extra button here at the end of our table, right click and select Add Content. Now this is going to be a time value. We want the time between 175 and 183. And so if we select uh, time between temperature here, we'll put a lower value of 175 degrees C and an upper value of our peak temperature at 183. 
Now if we want to distinguish this uh, from the other columns, I'm clicking Next through to the final page here, and we can change the cell color. I'm just going to change that to a light yellow color here, and so that when I click Finish, we can clearly see the additional information that we have, and it automatically populates that in the table. And so um, in order to save this for future profiles and so that we can come back to that without having to add those columns each time, uh, we can just right click on the Add Extra button at the end and select Save KPI Template As. And so we're going to name it as a new uh, template and I'll just say Product A for a new product that we're measuring. Now that I've saved that, you can see it updates it in the directory. And this uh, C drive directory that stores our templates for the KPI information will have uh, all of those files, all of your uh, KPI template files. And so now if I download a new profile, This is just a random profile that's in my Supermole Gold right now. It's not really a reflow oven profile. And so we can disregard the actual um, drawing of the profile itself. You can see it's definitely not a reflow profile. But you can see that it does have um, our new template that we can use for future downloads. And so if you need to get back to an old template or you want to go back to the basic template, you would just simply right click on the Add Extra button, Load Template, and go back to the Data Table Basic. And that will bring back your original template that came with the software.